sorry, I need to put your windows up for a minute. How are you great, magnificent, and amazing people doing today? Our current temperature is 26 degrees. No snow yet, but by the way it sounds, next week we're supposed to get some snow here in western Iowa. Today's agenda isn't a big one. Today's agenda is we're going to uh, run out to the farm here and give Dad a hand. Dad's moving some hunting blinds around and getting things situated because uh, first season deer season starts next week and everything needs to be um, ready, I guess you could say. We're still getting used to having the truck camper back there and today's going to be her first go around in the wise of doing some... Um, I guess you could say off-roading, just on some dirt roads, up a few cuts, stuff like that. There. There is Dad. Uh. Uh. Want well, to come out and play? Yeah. You guys still don't get along, do you? No, you don't. She's in the pickup. Jax is going for a walk. Where are you going, Jax? He's exploring. What is this stuff? Can see Dana and, uh, awesome. I think you can get up there pretty easy. If you can get up to the Taj Mahal, you can get up there. I think that box is done. It does need better curtains, but. He just needed to do some modifications to that box, get things a little ready, but we didn't have to move that one. Now we're moving on. We need to move uh, a couple that are up in the air, so we're just probably going to slap them over on Dad's work pickup. Remember guys, that is Dad's work pickup, his farm pickup. So it's going to be beat. It's going to be beat up pretty good. It's kind of relaxing out here. You guys are going to see a lot more out here. I plan on using this, uh, oh, I think there's there's a good chunk of ground here. I plan on using a lot of this ground, as long as the landowner will allow me, to do some of our truck camping videos. Speaking of the truck camper, this thing is a trooper, man. This thing's holding up nice. I remember one time, this dip right here, my dad used to have a 1995 Ford pickup got high centered coming in and out of there had to come pull him out but I think in the process if I remember right it took out the four wheel drive and then back then we used to get snow that was years ago we used to actually get a lot of snow and we had to make it up this trail while we were snow covered I can't remember what pickup I had I think I had that 2000 and one Ford F-150. Now, eventually I promise I will get better at recording when we're out here in the timber and we're out here messing around. Because if you guys remember, I wanted to talk about, or I wanted to put in at least one video a week of us outdoors a little bit, just to show off that part of the world but I'm almost new to recording anything on it. We're so used to recording the truck content, and let's face it, recording the truck content is easy. Hold the window, put the camera out the windshield, good to go. Recording outdoors is a little bit more demanding, time consuming. 
So I need to learn how to do that a little better. I had to mark a pin on the GPS because this is one spot right here that I really would like to uh, set camp up. I think this would be a beautiful spot to set camp up. I've truly never seen that pond that low. Unfortunately, it's gonna dry up. Well, it's not gonna dry up, but it's gonna freeze up. And that's a darn good crappie pond. I think it was a good call leaving the pickup and the boys back at uh, well what we, what we call the farm, what we call base camp, back where dad keeps his tractors. I, I would not have brought my pickup down here. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to load this box up in the truck and trailer and uh, all that path we just brought in, we're going to take it right back out. See They're definitely dedicated. Yeah, that's a. It's been a land. Watch why that box is there. Just for that reason. What's a puff ball? It's a mushroom. I'm assuming you don't eat that. 
still know. That's the viewers. Are puff balls eatable? Edible. Edible. It's a giant mushroom. Giant puff ball mushroom. I've seen like this, you know. I've never seen one this big. Good. Sit it on the step. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, we can't lift it all the way up there. No, we just gotta drag it forward. Here, pump it, push it back. Let it go back. In a foot. Okay. Down? Yeah. able to get dad's box moved over got it moved up to a more open area more shooting patterns there didn't take too long what I learned from that though and I already knew it but my dad's pickup that farm pickup that thing is a battle axe holy smokes it just plows through about anything and it keeps moving I'm just glad dad has his nice Dodge at home though because uh, that pickup right there it's a work truck and that's all there is to it we're all finished up with that. We're gonna run back into town. We're gonna to try to get some more Christmas lights up. I think I'm out of time. So whatever Christmas lights I can get up, I can get up because, well, it's supposed to snow tomorrow night. So that would eliminate getting up on the roof. And then our cooler temperatures are coming, which is a-okay. We've made it through November with two weeks of cold and two weeks of warm. And December comes in and it will be it will be what it is this is Iowa I wouldn't mind seeing some snow though I'm hoping we see some snow this year How's it going? Good. Good. This is what happens, Troy, when your mom helped me put lights away. You see this, right? Yeah. She wrapped them around her hand and made a ball. Now I need to get that out. I remember when I used to be able to get to the top of that tree.
Alrighty, well, I didn't want to light this roof up, but apparently the kids say I have to because I've done it for the past 10 years. Last year, if you were around, we lit the top roof up up there. I ain't doing it. Putting my foot down. That's a big knot right there. It doesn't look like one, but that's a pretty good sized knot. I got some work to do to that tree. I'm not happy with the tree. Other than that, Bud's doing pretty good with the with the blow-ups. Bud's in charge of blow-ups this year. Oh, mercy. All right, so we need to put Santa Claus up over here yet. We have three reindeer to put up over here, and there's some dark spots in the yard there I don't like. I usually would put stars all the way throughout the house there. I'm not doing that this year, so we got to find a place to put those stars. It's late enough. I don't want to work on it anymore. I really don't. I'm done. In this tree here, this tree that we're standing under, it needs about 2,000 more lights. My display is usually right around 10,000, 12,000 lights. On that roof alone, we actually got 3,000 lights. And, uh, well, I have a lot of lights left over. I'm going to put them on this tree. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you could, throw a like down there. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. You guys stay safe, and as always, I'll see you next time.